see me, you know everything. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. From the signs to the hats to the jersey, I'm in. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. Uh, you know what it is, you don't even need a clue. Throw it what up, California, Nevada? Welcome back to my channel, Packer Fans for Life. It's your boy, Big Nate. Let's get it. I'm back with another video, but before I get this video started, I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers, my new subscribers. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Also, I want to give a shout out to my boys from the Pack Attack. You gentlemen know who you guys are. What up? Your boy is out here chilling. I brought my wife to the hospital to do some blood work. So it's 7.30 in the morning. I just got back from work about an hour ago. So your boy is out here grinding. This it is. It's part of life. So with that in mind, today I want to make this video. Give a breakdown of the games that we got this upcoming season. And I'm going to give you guys a prediction. So with that in mind, Let's get to it. So, at number week one, we got, we actually traveled to Minnesota. And I think this is going to be a great game. I feel that the Packers are going to go into Minnesota and spoil Sedarius Smith and Sheldon Sylvan, Sheldon Sylvan's debut. We're going to smack them. I think the Minnesota are going to try to be ready, but I think that our defense has elevated to a whole different level. We got better on this upcoming draft, and I can't wait to see Walker and Wyatt go to work. And, of course, you know, Watson and Romeo Doves as well. So I got the Packers going into the Minnesota uh, city and whooping their candy asses. Week two, we got Chicago. We already know what's up. We already know that Chicago is just Chicago. Their quarterback sucks. They don't got nobody. So that's an ECW. Fuck Chicago. Chicago is just the bottom of the NFC North as it is. So we got a W right there. Week uh, three. This is a good ass matchup that I've been wanting to see once again. And they will be in, in, in a well involved Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. And I believe we're traveling to Tampa on that game as well. And I feel that the Packers will come out and finally once again, prove the NFL wrong and show that Rodgers still the man to beat and that Tom Brady, he's just an old fart trying to fucking try to chase another ring. And that's what it is. But I'm going to tell like this, Tom Brady, retire already, old man. You got nothing else to prove. Yes, for a lot of people, you are the GOAT for a lot of people, especially in New England. So what? The greatest quarterback to ever play at the quarterback position. And he's a Super Bowl champion. It's my quarterback, Aaron freaking Rodgers. And simple as that. If you guys don't like it, so what? It is what it is. So, week four. We got the New England Patriots. New England Patriots right now. They're on the rebuild stages. They got an all right quarterback, not the greatest. He's an all right quarterback. And I feel that the Packers will smack the New England Patriots. I just don't see the Patriots doing anything this year because they, they lost a lot of players. Uh, and, and basically, right now, without Tom Brady, the Patriots ain't shit. That's the way I'm going to round it up. So we got another W. Week 5. We got the New York Jet, uh, the New York Giants. I st we go like I said on my previous video. We travel to London, and we play 
the New York Giants. The Giants don't have an identity right now. They don't know what the fuck is going in New York. So I just feel that the Packers and Brady and our defense will go smack the Giants like Chris Rock got smacked by Will Smith a couple weeks ago. Bottom line. So that's a W. Week six, we got the New York Jets. Now we all know that the Jets, they've been trying their hardest to become an NFL team because honestly, those fuckers, they suck. They haven't done shit since Dan Marino used to beat the shit out of them and they used to go at it with them. So I don't think the Jets, even though they had a good draft, just like the way they did a previous year after that, they picked up basically every good player they could and they still finished last. So I don't think the Jets are gonna do anything. They don't got they don't got an identity. They don't know what the fuck they wanna do. I know they wanna win games, but they just I just feel that no matter what they do, they just suck. And I don't think they will be able to stop the Green Bay Packers. They won't be able to stop Evan Rodgers, our defense, our offense. So that's an easy W. Week 7, we got the Washington Commanders, the Washington Redskins, the a.k.a. Washington Snyders, a.k.a. Washington, who the fuck are your identity is. Washington is a garbage organization that they haven't done shit since 1980. So I think that the Packers will smack Washington. And, and, and I think they will blow them out. Washington, I don't know why they still exist in the NFL. They, they, they changed their name. Their organization is garbage, it is. And they changed their name to a garbage-ass name. Uh, they should just get kicked out of the NFL just like the Browns did a couple years ago. So that's the ECW. Week 8, we got the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Buffalo's a good team, don't get me wrong. Their defense is good, but every time when it comes down to showing off, to showing up, the Bills always choke. I think this is this will be a close game, but at the end of the day, I see the Packers coming up on top. Week 9, uh, we got the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions to all you Detroit Lions fans, if you guys think you guys are going to beat the Packers, I suggest you guys come out and bring your paper bags and get ready to put those fuckers up. Put them on because the Packers will smack Detroit, will beat Detroit. Even though Detroit try to draft some good players and some receivers, Jerry Goff is not going to get it done. He got run out of L.A. for a reason. We've seen what he is capable of doing in Detroit. And that's a, not a damn thing. So fuck Detroit. That's the ECW. Week 10. We got the Dallas Cowboys. I got a bet. I know AJ got some bet. And I think that the, it's going to be a good game, a close game. But I don't think the Dallas will go into Green Bay and try to beat Aaron Rodgers try to beat these two dynamic running backs that we got in Aaron Jones and A.J. And, uh, Dillon. And this defense, they're not going to be able to stop these new defense that we got. So I think this is an easy W for the Packers. Sorry, Dallas Cowboys, but Prescott will not get it done in Green Bay or anybody or anywhere else. So easy W for the Pack. Week 11, we got the Tennessee Titans. I think this will be a good game. It might be a close game, but I don't think that Jimmy Henry will be able to get it done all by himself. I don't think Tannehill is that good of a quarterback. He's good, but he's not great. We got the greatest quarterback in the NFL right now, Aaron Rodgers, so I don't think that the Tennessee Titans will beat the Packers. And plus, you guys sent A.J. Brown to Philadelphia, so who are you guys going to throw the ball to? Hmm. Suspicious. So you guys are suspect. 
So ECW for the Packers. Week 12, where you're hiding, sorry brother, but just the way the 70 sisters got smacked in the playoffs, that's what's going to happen to the Eagles. <coughs> you guys' quarterback is garbage. You guys' quarterback sucks. I'm sorry where you're hiding. Even though you don't want to realize that you don't got a quarterback, it is what it is. Jalen Hurts, he's not a he's not a talented quarterback. He can't throw the ball. And the only thing he's good at is probably running. Simple as that. So where you're hiding, I suggest you get a bag of crackers because you're going to be crumbling crackers that game. Peace. So, ECW for the Packers. Week 13, we got the Chicago Bears again. And I just feel that the Packers will smack them and will sweep the Bears on this series. The Bears are nobody. They don't got a team. to. They don't, they're not capable of beating the Packers. Even if they want it, the Packers will come out on top. So, easy win. Week 14. We got the L.A. Rams. We all know that the L.A. Rams are the NFC World Champions, Super Bowl Champions. But we all know that they bought a Super Bowl. Because if it wasn't that they bought a Super Bowl, right now they'd be on a Super Bowl hangover, all mad and pissed off at their quarterback. So I think that the Packers are going to come out, play hard, show them once again because we own the Rams and we're going to beat the Rams. And we're going to prove Matthew Stafford that just because he came to the NFC West, he's not that good of a quarterback still. He just got lucky that they were able to come up with the Super Bowl victory over the Vince, the Cincinnati Bengals last year or this past season. So, easy win for the Packers, Falcon LA Rams. Week 15, we got the Miami Dolphins. I'm surprised they're still in the NFL. They suck. They're whack. The quarterback, to uh, whatever his fucking Hawaiian name is, they're not going to get it done. Even though they got Tyree Hill, one man, per, one person can't get the whole thing. One person cannot get the whole, the whole game. They cannot win the whole game by one person. You have to do it as a team. The Dolphins is not that kind of team. So the Dolphins is more like a Jacksonville team, kind of, sort of. It is what it is. So ECW for the Packers. Week 16, we got the Minnesota. And we all know that every year the, the Packers give Minnesota a game. And for Minnesota, they get all excited because that's basically the fucking Super Bowl. So oh, it is what it is. So fuck Minnesota Vikings. You guys are going to get a win. And you guys can celebrate with your skirts and those horns that you be sucking on. So that's your Super Bowl. So it is what it is. I'm not mad. So week 17, we got Detroit Lions again. And I just feel that we're going to sweep the Detroit Lions just the way we're going to sweep the Chicago Bears. The Lions, Jerry Goff, they're garbage. I don't care if you want to bring Tom Brady in Detroit. You still are not going to win. You guys just don't got the capability. You guys, you guys are not a team like the Packers are. So, easy win for the uh, Packers. They will go uh, smack Detroit Lions, sweep that series as well as there. Um, I, I predict the Packers will go 16-1 this year. I think because our defense is upgraded. And I think that this defense will elevate this group of gentlemen to a whole different pace, to a whole different level. And our offense, of course. With the new, with these new receivers that we got, I think that the Packers just got some new weapons, and we just have to wait and see what these uh, gentlemen are capable of doing. But like I said, 16 and one is my prediction. Some people might say, "No, I'm wrong." It is what it is. It's my prediction. I'm sticking with it. Please comment, like this video, share. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these games. What's your prediction? Let me know what's up. So with that being said, don't forget to subscribe. Support your boy, Big Nate. Make sure to subscribe to uh, my boy, AJ, Packer Fan in Vegas, Higher Point of View, KSTB, TR. Support them channels. And don't forget to support mine as well. With that being said, your boy, Big Nate, is out. Uh,
my town When you see me, you know everything Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow From the signs to the hats to the jersey, I'm in Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow